Hello and welcome back to Dukas Copy TV. On Monday this week, a meeting was held between Germany's finance minister, Wolfgang Schäuble, and France's finance minister, Pierre Moscovici, over the future of austerity in France and to discuss any further updates on a European banking union. Well, joining me on the line to discuss the latter with me is Chief Economist at Bank de Groef in Brussels, Etienne de Calate. Etienne, thanks for joining me today. Uh, as I said, German Finance Minister Wolfgang Schäuble said yesterday that a banking union in Europe will get underway very quickly on the basis of existing EU treaties instead of waiting for them to change. Does this mean we could see a new banking union this year? I hope so. We, we need it. We, we all know that we need it. I guess that we will get it. If it will be a question of weeks, of months, I don't know. We have learned to be rather cautious uh, regarding European developments over the last years and even before. But I indeed think uh, that we are entitled to have higher expectations today. Mr. Sherbel is basically saying as far as a banking union is concerned, we've got to do the best with what we've got. Is that going to install confidence in the markets or does the whole project sound a bit too vague? I think that it will have a positive impact, uh, and I think in particular to a political country with name Spain, there I think that it could be a, a, a major plus. As you know, the banking union we are talking about is made of three elements, of three legs, if you want. And, and it goes about the uh, uh, deposit insurance scheme, it goes about the resolution uh, crisis, and, and, and we have to, to, to find solution for those two uh, items. We, we saw it in Spain, we saw it with uh, Cyprus. This is uh, of uh, crucial importance in order to foster confidence uh, for all of us here in Europe. Now, the banking union has been labelled a top priority by Mr. Scherbel. This is a far cry from what we were hearing last year when Germany tried to distance itself from helping to create such a union, as it would have meant more wealthy countries would essentially be forced to prop up struggling ones. Why the turnaround? For two elements. We can agree with Germans or, or, or other people from other countries saying we don't have to clean up the mess if we were not responsible for the mess. If we do it, it will create what economists call a moral hazard situation. It will give uh, the wrong incentive. People will think that they can uh, go ahead with uh, foolish behaviors and there will always be somebody to foot the bill. So we have to analyze that there is a problem that solidarity cannot go hand in hand with a lack of responsibility. But here what we see is that we could progress at the same time on the area of solidarity and of responsibility. Okay, so as far as you're concerned, what do you think will be the next step to make a banking union in Europe a reality? The next step is to agree on what the ESM, the European Stabilization Mechanism, will be entitled to do in terms of uh, legacy uh, assets. Uh, as, as you know, I mean, and as I said, the, the, the three legs of the banking union, the first one, we have an agreement on that one. This is a single supervisory mechanism, uh, meaning uh, having one big boss in terms of supervisor and being the ECB. Uh, we have an agreement on this. It has not yet started. It should be in place uh, from uh, April uh, 2014. But there we, we, we have to have the possibility to have that money from the ESM also being readily available to support problems of today. Uh, you know, this issue of uh, legacy, what the ESM can do or cannot do, is a very intricate one and I think that at some point we'll have to open the ESM also in order to address problems from the past. But at the same time, we, we need to make progress on the uh, two other scores, being the resolution and uh, deposit schemes. Thank you very much for your time, Mr. De Calate. If you're watching at home or at work, don't switch off just yet. Head to our homepage and get stuck into our other exclusive interviews and updates here on Dukas Copy TV. But for now, from me, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.